Hey everybody, and welcome to my latest tutorial. This one, I'm gonna be showing you how I like to use Echo Boy as a reverb plugin. Now, I don't usually use this as um, a traditional plugin, but I use this if I wanna get something sort of weird. Before we begin, I'm gonna show you a before after of the effect that we're going to get. Here's before. And here's after. And if you've seen a few of my videos, you probably know that I really like the Sound Toys plugins. Now, they usually have these edit functions here. They also have the tweak, which is a little bit different. But in the edit ones, you usually get a ton of different parameters that you can mess with. Now, the main one that we're going to be messing with is going to be the diffusion, as well as we're going to be messing with the feedback. So right now, I just have a send going from the source to the Echo Boy track, and that's summing up in the master, which only has a little bit of a limiter on it. Now, the sound that we have right now is nothing compared to what you saw at the beginning. This is what we have right now. Now, if we loop this and I'm going to pull up the feedback knob, you're going to start to hear it getting crazier and crazier. All right, now that doesn't sound too much like reverb, but when you flick this post switch up and start playing with the size and the amount, it starts to sound a little bit like reverb. Now, one of the cool things I like about that is that because you have all these other parameters, I like using these to kind of start getting different sounds out of it. Like when I'm using this, I don't want it to actually sound like a traditional reverb plugin. And a lot of times I like using this wobble, which gives it a little bit of a warble, a little bit of pitch shifting. Another cool thing you can do is you can mess with the resonance and the frequency of different uh, parts of the decay signal. So right now I have all the processing disabled and I'm no longer sending signal to the other track. And right now I have the same wind chime sample that I used in the first video, just now pitched down one octave. I'm using the same technique on full mix and just notching out the high end and there's a little bit of a resonance frequency that I kind of took out as well. And that sounds like this. Now this is a pretty cool ambience that you can use as a texture. Um, if you speed this up, slow it down, you can get some crazy, crazy sounds out of stuff like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you learned a little bit and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.